Hello miners, Rusty coming at you. Part five of my favorite knife. And I started a quest recently to find my favorite knife knowing uh, that I wanted to try to have a blade deployment hole. And, you know, good ergos, maybe a move up position. So all the knives in this series, this is the fifth one, are gonna be very similar to one another. Uh, now, what I've also discovered is I like Micarta. This is the second of the, this is number two of five with Micarta. The other three have G10. And Micarta's just become, I guess I, I noticed I like it better. Uh, now, what about this knife? This is the Bridgeport Knife Company. Uh, I want to say VF or VL395. I'll put it in the description. This knife is designed by a fellow named Garrett. He's a young man, somewhere in his early 20s. And he got this knife OEM'd by Kubi, which I love. And it's in this dark gray micarta. has a titanium pocket clip that's reversible. Milled liners, backspacer. 20 CV blade, no um, markings on that. Uh, as I mentioned, OEM by Kubi has great detent, has some snap. You guys can hear that. Wow. Okay. Uh, liner lock, locking up pretty good. We'll go over that on the inside. Super ergos in this position, it's really locked in. And of course, lots of ways to move on this blade. Uh, it's a light blade. The whole knife is very light. That was my very first impression, how light it is. Um, pretty fidgety. But yeah, I don't think we'll get this blade to fall shut on its own, but it's a super easy to, to drop it. So uh, they make these, you could could have got a titanium version. This is actually version two. They came out with a titanium 14C28N maybe six months ago, and then he made some changes. One thing I know he made the changes on is the steel. And so there's four versions currently out. Two of them are sold out. Um, the ones with carbon fiber handles and 20 CV. And then there's two micartas. One's a neutral micarta, natural. And then this one. And the micarta versions have thumb studs in addition to thumb slot. So we'll take it inside, take a closer look. Thanks, guys. Okay, guys, now we're inside. And part of the reason I like to come inside is you get a little different look, a little different light. But uh, so we got here taking a look at the micarta, how it's nested. I believe this is a titanium backspacer. I know this is a titanium clip. It is reversible. Take a look at your thumb studs. And one thing I nitpick about is looks like, you know, on another Kubi, um, we get a little bit better kind of a hole. It's like that hole was rough cut. So uh, taking a look at this blade, it kind of reminds me of like a bull pup. And let's see if we can see. A hollow grind on this going to be hard to do but it is a hollow grind there's a black stone wash not as much as on the growler kind of your move up position I will say with the lock bar it's easy to get to but you hit this my corner right here and I found myself not unlocking the knife it wouldn't fall on its own uh, by pressing that unless you get in it at the right spot there. Uh, that micarta, your thumb hits that micarta before it releases. So we'll take a look at the lockup on that. And for me, what perfect lockup is, is when the end of your lock, your scale, your liner here, meets 
the end, the inside, excuse me, the outside of your liner uh, hits the outside of your tang. And so you got full liner on full tang. And that's going to give you the most room to move over and the most contact. Uh, you know, if you only have half your tang on there. Don't know if you guys can see the milling there. Uh, ladder type style on this side. You can see they're not um, holes drilled in there. And we can't see in here, but I can tell you it's a light knife. It's probably a little bit heavier than the pair of three, but that'll give you guys an idea of the size. So it's not a big knife. Okay. Yeah, let's see. But this one I do think is premium. I pick them up, paid $150 with shipping. And I see this one making it in my pocket a lot. And I do like these thumb studs for deployment here. And then what's sort of also something that's strange is it doesn't look like your stop pin is actually, you can see it when it comes around. Okay, and it's stopping there. And when it comes around this way, it doesn't look like it's stopping it, but I do think that it's still hitting and in this sort of the way the blade is cut there, it makes it uh, makes contact. Uh, either way, it's locked up. It is solid. So, oh, better do a sharpness test. Use our foam peanut. All right, well, made it through there. Not exactly, uh, doing all right. I can tell you, because I had to cut some gauze here, and I used this knife. Yep, and it didn't slice it, it, it ripped it. So, probably find that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hone this a little bit. But 20 CV is a great blade steel. It's supposed to have better edge retention than your M390. So as far as premium steels, I think it's the right choice uh, for this knife. I'd rather see that than S35, simply because the way this knife is ground, nice and thin here, uh, I think it'd be nice to, uh, you know, it's nice and slicey. And those uh, other CPM steels tend to have uh, a lot of grittiness, toothiness in the edge, which is fine. I guess you could have went with the S35 on this, but anyways, uh, I guess I will show you a couple more. We got the Benchmade Mini Griptilian. And the reason I'm showing you that one is I do feel like a similar purchase in the hand. Now this has a lot of jimping and I don't notice, if you don't have that on this. This is smooth and it just, it just fits that hand uh, very similar. I don't know why, but it does feel similar in my hand. And we'll bring out one more, a cheapo. And that's the Kershaw Oh So Sweet. Just to give you guys some size comparisons. You guys know I like this one. If you've been following the channel, we got this uh, hollow grind on there. So much much more premium knife than the Kershaw. So, all right, we're gonna try to keep these videos short. We got, check out the wrap up video coming soon.